we've set up a simple way for you to give to our church online. If you want to give a quick gift, enter an amount, select a fund, then enter your email address and your first and last name. Then enter your payment details and click Give. And that's it! We'll send a receipt to your email address. To use a saved payment method or manage a recurring donation, you'll want to log in. Click the Login button and we'll send a code to your phone or email account. Verify the code and you're in! Now your payment info is ready to go when you want to make a donation. To manage your giving details, switch over to the My Giving page. Here you'll see more ways you can give. You can also add a payment method, a bank account or a debit card, set up a recurring donation, and view your giving history. So good to be with you today, to be able to lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to know that he is truly worthy, amen? Thank you for joining with us here as we join together in the Word. I'd like to open up with Scripture from Psalms 23 that is very familiar to many. But then again, it may not be known by some. So if you're not aware of this, even after I begin to read it, I pray that this freshness of the word of the Lord will be there for you today. If you know it and aware of it or can even quote it, then I pray that it will still be freshness for you today as if you were hearing it for the first time. It just says the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You, Lord, anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I believe today, it's almost like there is just a presence of the Lord so strong that I just believe He's so close. And it's like I almost don't want to move away from this moment or this place of where His presence is seems to be getting closer, getting fresh or more real. Perhaps you along with me could invite from your heart to him like I am, Lord, just show up today. Now, we know he's with us and the word tells us we're to agree, you know, touching any one thing it shall be done and we're two or three together, together there he is in the midst, but there's just times when it just seemed like he is so close and I pray right now that the presence of the Lord becomes that real to you as well that he is just ever so close in his peace because he is peace and in his presence that's just what it releases it's almost like you don't have to ask for peace it's just there because he is here. It seems like you don't almost have to ask certain things at certain moments because there is joy. There is strength. Like I said, it's just almost like you want to just take it in, breathe Him in. Oh, I pray it becomes that real for you today. 
I do believe the Lord is still the shepherd. I still believe that he is still guiding and leading. He is still lifting. Securing. He is still safety. Because he is the savior. Amen. Jesus died so that we may live. Apostle Paul said for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. I guess you could speak about it from a physical death as we call it. If we know the Lord is Savior then to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. But from a spiritual direction for me to live is Christ and then to die is gain. When the word of the Lord just says that old things will pass away and behold all things become new. So I pray today that this freshness of the shepherd of the Lord would just become, as the word says, Jesus being closer than a brother. That you can feel this very moment to cast your care upon him because he cares for you. Hallelujah. Somebody just worship him with me, would you? Because we know you're here, Father. We know you're speaking. We know you are making a way where there seems to be no way. So truly, Jesus, the shepherd, he makes it so real when he says in John chapter 10, and these are the words of Jesus speaking himself. He said, most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, which he calls himself the door, but climbs up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber, but he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him, the doorkeeper opens and the sheep hear his voice and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out and when he brings out his own sheep he goes before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice yet they will by no means follow a stranger but will flee from him for they do not know the voice of strangers the next verse just gives clear explanation of what was going on in the Lord's day as well as I believe what can happen in our day. Because verse 6 here in John 10 says Jesus used this illustration but they did not understand the things which he spoke. The Lord is speaking today but there's many if we're not careful saying I don't get it. I don't understand it. There's nothing to it. But Jesus said to them again. So I believe today he's just simply saying his words of love and care and provision and deliverance again. He's doing it again. He doesn't grow weary. He's not tired. He is here still offering his love and his self for Jesus is the shepherd. Here it says, when Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. Did I not say that he said he was? That he is? Well, he made it clear in verse 7 of John 10. When he said, I am the door of the sheep. Then he said, All who ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. He says it again, does he not? If anyone enters by me, Jesus said, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. In other words, he will supply. He will give provision in ways. He said the thief. Who's the thief? Satan. Our arch enemy. The one who seeks to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Because that's what he says here in verse 10 of John 10. The thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But then he says, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Why are we saying Jesus is the good shepherd? Because verse 11 made it as clear as possible. 
when Jesus himself said, I am the good shepherd. And the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. Church, there's no greater love. There's no greater love than for one to lay down his life for his friends. The word of the Lord is ever so clear, ever so present, because Jesus made that so clear to us when he said those very words to us. And to understand, oh, how I sense his presence today. I do believe with all of my heart that Jesus, he is here and truly church. There's no greater love than what Jesus is doing for you and for me. Because look at John chapter 14, verse 12. I want to read it to you. I just turned over to it. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, this is still Jesus speaking. He said, he who believes in me, the work that I do, he will do also in greater works than these. He will do because I go to my Father. I firmly believe today, church, that we need to grasp what Jesus is here to do. That he is here to make a way. He is here to release and to give truly what we have need of. And to know that he is giving his life. He is paying the price. I just sense an urgency today. I sense that Jesus Christ is just wanting to let you know. That he hasn't forsaken. He hasn't forgotten. Hear me today. His presence. Such a freshness. It's almost like there's a stillness in this atmosphere. Of the presence of God today. I want to go back into Psalms for just a moment. In Psalms chapter 24. That's following what I started out this time together with you today. From Psalm 23. So the next chapter of Psalm 24 just says the earth is the Lord's. Somebody still recognize with me that God is still in control. Because the earth is the Lord's. It may not look it. It may not sound like it, but God is still there. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend unto the hill of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully? He shall receive blessing from the Lord in righteousness from the God of his salvation. That's the shepherd today. That's who has set us free. All we have to do is call upon him and just release and repent. And just let him have his way of cleansing, of filling us. Of reaching, not just only in, but through us, church. Now, Father, I come to you because, Jesus, you are the shepherd. I give you praise today. I give you glory today. Lord, I pray that those, whenever they take this time in of this worship and this time of your word that we're together in, that they would just sense your presence fill in that place. They would just sense your closeness. They would sense your love so powerful that they know, Lord, that you are washing everything away. And everything by being washed away is it releasing a freedom that they did not even know existed. For where you are, there is that spirit of liberty. And right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for doing it. Now, Holy Spirit, have your way, Father. Have your way, Father. 
And just let them sense your presence. As I thank you for how I sense your presence. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. God bless you for being with us today. Almost don't want to stop this time together with you. It's like for it to continue. But may you find him. As the Lord sticks closer than a brother, as I've mentioned earlier. That you will find he truly will never leave you. And never forsake you. I really wish I could reach out to every one of you today and just pull you in so close. And stand as I feel like I am right now in that moment of agreement with you. For your deliverance, for your healing. And most importantly, Lord, just to worship you that we can do this together. In the spirit and the beauty of holiness. Thank you, Jesus, for it all. God bless you is my prayer.